For God is gracious and merciful, and so we are here in the presence of our God. And we can begin our prayers in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. The Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit. Remembering God's call for reconciliation, we come to Him and we pray. You were sent to heal the bloodline of Christ. Lord have mercy. Lord, Lord have mercy. You gave me all sinners. Christ have mercy. Christ, Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. May the venerable exercises of holy devotion shape the hearts of your faithful before the world, to welcome the worthy in the Paschal mystery and proclaim the praises of your salvation. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. The angel brought to me Ezekiel back to the entrance of the temple of the Lord, and I saw wonderful powers. From beneath the threshold of the temple of the Lord, 
that the facade of the temple was toward the east. The water flowed down from the right side of the temple, south of the altar. He led me outside by the north gate and around the outer gate facing the east, where I saw water trickling from the right side. Then when he had walked off to the east with a measuring cord in his hand, he measured off a thousand cubits. And he made me wade through the water, which was unbroken. He measured off another thousand, and once more he had me wade through the water, which was now knee deep. Again he measured off a thousand, and he made me wade, and the water was up to my waist. Once more he measured off a thousand, but there was now a river through which I could not wade, for the water has risen so high. It had become a river that could not be crossed except by swimming. He asked me, Have you seen this, son of man? Then he brought me to the bank of the river where he had set me. Along the bank of the river I saw many very many trees on both sides. He said to me, The water flows into the eastern district down upon the Arabah and empties into the sea, the salt waters, which it makes fresh. Wherever the river flows, every sort of living creature that can multiply shall live. And there shall be an abundant fish, for wherever this water comes, the sea shall be made fresh. Along both banks of the river, fruit trees of every kind shall grow. Their leaves shall not fade, nor their fruit fail. Every month they shall bear fresh fruit, for they shall be watered where they grow from the sanctuary. Their food shall serve for food, and their leaves for medicine. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. This pastoral song, our response. The Lord of hosts is with us. Our struggle is the God of Jacob. The Lord of hosts is with us. Our struggle is the God of Jacob. God is our refuge and our strength, an ever present help in distress. Therefore, we fear not, though the earth be shaken and the mountain plunge into the depths of the sea. The Lord of hosts is with us. Our struggle is the God. There is a stream whose abundance gladdens the city of God, the holy dwelling of the Most High. God is in its midst, it shall not be disturbed. God will help it at the break of dawn. The Lord of hosts is with us, our struggle is the God of Jacob. Come. Behold the deeds of the Lord, the astounding things he has wrought on earth. The Lord of hosts is with us, our struggle is our God. Number of ill lying things and crippled. One man was there 
with the deal for 38 years. Mrs. saw him lying there and knew that he had been ill for a long time. He said to him, Do you want to be well? The sick man answered, Sir, I have no one to put me into the pool. For the water is stirred up. While I am on my way, someone else gets down there before me. Jesus said to him, Rise, take up your mat, and walk. Immediately the man became well, took up his mat, and walked. Now, that day was the Sabbath. So the Jews said to the man who was cured, It is the Sabbath, and it is not lawful for you to carry your mat. He answered them, The man who made you well told me to take up your mat and walk. They asked him, Who is the man who told you? Take it up and walk. The man who was healed did not know who it was. And Jesus is being away since there was a crowd there. And this Jesus not in the temple area and said to him, Look, you are well. Do not sin anymore. The man went and told the Jews that Jesus was the one who made him well. Therefore the Jews began to persecute Jesus because he did this on Sabbath. That was the rule. Praise Praise Good morning, fellow singers. Now I feel more comfortable. I wanted to start my chair with you today with that kind of perception. Good morning, fellow seniors. Good morning. What is the greatest of all the commandments, as Jesus would say? When you say, love God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and love your fellow human being as yourself. The story of the Gospel today, as we have heard, is the story of this man who has been sick for, let me see, 38 years. And he was sitting there in the portico doing the waiting as it was done for a lot of people. And the waiting was quite difficult because like how he is, he is not able to move that fast. Eight years. So, let me use my technology here. 13,870 times. 13,000 870 times that nobody did the love of God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and love your neighbor as yourself. What's the possibility? Can you imagine that? 13,870 times. This was there for 13 years. You're just smiling. Or I'll give you a quiz after this homily. And nobody came to him to say, I'll sit with you and wait until that water is stirred up and I'll bring you down to be well. Rather, it was Jesus who went to him. See, and that's the difference. We always talk about loving God. No, we don't love God. God loves us first, so He comes to us. Hmm. Remember that. This sick person, Jesus went and showed that He loved him. And says, You want to get well? I'll make you well. And He was well. But the 
shoes of the story is that it gets steered up rather than concentrating on that goodness, on that positive thing, on that beautiful thing that happened to this sick person. The story was steered up with high standards. Who did that? Sabbath day? Can you not define it? Law number 38, I think, of the, of the rabbinical law books. Law 38 says you cannot carry your man. 38 years he's been well, and for that occasion of being well, he is even, even punished. So, the law of carrying your man and the law of loving God and loving your neighbor. Which one is heavier? How many times have we seen the possibility of doing something that is good? Now think about it. Multiply it by the times, or maybe by your age, and you will know better how much we miss the capacity to do something that is good. And that's the reason why. Here is my quiz for you today. The first one is list a few teachers who aided your journey to the school. Great school, you, know, you reach college or master or doctorate. List a few teachers who help you. Now, some of you say, I didn't go to school. We have teachers in life. Don't forget them. Who are those good teachers who taught us things in our life? This is my second question. Name three friends who have helped you through a difficult time. That I think is a common thing for all of us. When we met the difficult time in our life, there were these three friends who came and sat down with us during this difficult journey. My third question to you is name five people who have taught you something worthwhile. Maybe you didn't know how to cook, they helped you to learn how to cook. You didn't know how to pray, they brought you the prayer book and taught you how to pray. They brought you to church and you began your faith journey. The next one is think of a few people who have made you feel appreciated and special. I wonder if your spouse will be one of those people. I hope they are. Then the next one is name half a dozen heroes whose stories have inspired you. Is it easier? The people who make a difference in our lives are not the ones with the most credentials, the most money, or the most awards. They are the ones who care for all of us. Can you believe that? The people who make a difference in our lives are not the ones with the most credentials, the most money, or the most awards. They are the ones who care a lot for us. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the 
and of the Spirit. Please stand and let us offer our prayers. Gracious and loving God, we come here today and offer our prayers and help us to continue our journey. That God may strengthen the efforts of world leaders to bring peace to their lands and prosperity to all. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord For all who suffer in mind, body, or spirit may find comfort in the shelter of God's love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord that all in this community who have closed their hearts to God may be blessed with the certainty of God's love for them and seek the grace to reconcile with Him. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord and today's Mass, we especially pray for the intentions of our parish community. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord that our Father, who are a merciful and loving God, come to us today and continue to teach our hearts. We ask you this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Bless the very Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the bread we offer, which of the earth is work of human hands. You have become for us the bread of life. Bless Bless the very Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. For the divine work of human hands is to become our spiritual strength. Bless the God forever. Pray, my dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of God for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and for good of all the We offer to you, O Lord, these gifts which you yourself have bestowed. May they attest to your care as Creator, for this our mortal life, and effect in us the healing that brings us immortality. Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your Lord's spirit. Lift up your heart. We we'll lift up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just that you need our salvation always and everywhere. We give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. Amen. For by your gracious gift each year, your faithful await the sacred pastoral feast. With the joy of minds made pure, so that more eagerly intent on prayer and on the works of charity, and participating in the mysteries by which they have been reborn, they may be led to the fullness of grace that you bestow on your sons and daughters, and so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, to sing the aim of your glory as without end. We acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of glory, Hosanna in highest. Bless you who come in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the Father of all holiness. May you holy therefore this gift we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave it thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up.
In a similar way, when Samuel was ascended into the chariot, said, Once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and we drink this cup, we proclaim your death of the Lord and give you our God. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. How many we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ? We may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Blaise, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them to the light of your face and mercy on us all, we pray. That with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and the Blessed Apostles and all the saints, who have preached throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life. And may grace and glory rise for your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. The Savior's command and for my divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, there will be God, for there has been heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass us again. And lead us not into the things, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our day, by the help of your mercy. We may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and power are you now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant their peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with your spirit. spirit. God in the sight. God, who take away the sins of the world, the mercy of the love of God, who take away the sins of the world, the love of God, who take away the sins of the world.
Bible is in the Greek 8-2. Healer of our every man. 880. Offered to go and share the blessings you have received. Praise Praise God. God. 